fly, baby. It's time to finally learn some aerial stuff. How the hell do we aerial? What are aerials? What are our options? And remember, we're starting from the ground up. So it's all about building those fundamental skills that we can add to and that give us the most bang for our buck. Now, today we need to establish basic air control. Now, I know some people message me and they ask to break things down a bit slower and some ask to ramp things up a bit more. It's a tough one to make it perfect for everyone, but as this series is designed to help people develop, I feel that slow and steady will win the race. So first, we need to understand how to fly in a basic way. First of all, go into training and come out of ball camp. This will make it easier because we're not going to be focused on the ball. Now, to fly, all we need to do is jump from the ground, pull back on our joystick, or pull back on our joystick first and then jump, whichever you find easier for now. We'll get into other methods later. And once we're leaning back, we can just boost. But the mistake people make here is they keep pulling back. You don't need to do this. Once your car is at the correct angle, you can let go of the joystick and just hold down boost. So literally pull back until we're, our nose is up and then boost. That's all we're going to do for now. You know, some people are watching this going, but that isn't a fast step. We're not, we're not doing that yet. We're just going to learn basic aerial control. Now, another mistake people make with aerials is they hold the boost. This can be good if you're trying to beat someone. And it's also very good if you have great timing and great vision and you can see exactly where the ball's going and you know where you need to be. But if you need to change directions or if you want more control or you want to build up and get to air dribble level, we need to learn how to do what's known as feathering the boost. And feathering the boost essentially is just tapping the boost. It's just an, a special term for tapping the boost. So once we understand that, we can start pushing different directions on the joystick to achieve different results. For example, we can push forward to dip our nose down if we want a dive bomb, for example. And we can use the left and right to move left or right. But remember again, it's all about just little taps until you're in the right direction. Then keep on going, baby. If you're facing the right direction, just keep on walking. Otherwise, if you hold to the right or the left, you'll just end up spiraling. So it is little taps, little tappy taps. So if you're new to flying, this is the daily drill. We're going to fly from the floor to the ceiling. Jump, pull back, hold boost, and we're going to get to the ceiling 10 times. Then I want us to fly from inside the goal to the opposite goal five times. Then we're going to fly from the corner to the opponent's corner five times. And while you're doing this, guys, have a little bit of a play. Move the joystick around. Get used to the feeling. Tap it, tap it. Remember to feather the boost. Then we're going to fly from the left post to the opposite post three times. And then from the right post to the opposite post three times as well. And that should be very basic. So we're going to have two harder drills on this. Now, this time, we're going to ramp it up a little bit. We're going to fly to the middle. And then once we get to the middle, we're going to just put a little bit on left or a little bit on right. And we're going to try and aim to hit the opposite post five times each side. So five times hitting the left post, five times hitting the right post. And then we're going to take off inside the net again. Once we get to the mid, we're going to go left or right. And we're going to go to the corner left five times, right five times. Do these drills before you play and after you're done for the day. If you're more advanced, we're going to move on to the next stage. This is adding in air rolls, but by this I mean tiny little air rolls, not full-blown air roll left, air roll right. So why would we do this? Well, this allows us to turn to face certain directions. It can allow more accuracy because you will learn to be able to just air roll to face the ball so that it's consistent inputs all the way through and it will enable you to hit different parts of the ball with different parts of the car's hitbox. So to learn this, you can do this a few different ways. You can either use normal air roll or you can have directional air rolls. Now, personally, I think you should learn all. Uh, use the directionals and a standard air roll. And if anything, the game is starting to head towards just air roll left and right for the majority of the time. I still believe you need air roll for recoveries especially, but that's another subject for another day. So all we're going to do here is we're going to fly up, go forward a little bit, and then you're going to be able to use your air roll left or air roll right, make a tiny turn, just a tiny turn. And then you're going to be able to lean forward again and start going forward. Now, you're probably thinking, I can't see where I'm going. To get around that, once you're facing a direction and you've got momentum moving in that direction, click ball cam and then click out a ball cap and the camera angle will face that direction. So that's another part of the muscle memory you've got to learn is coming in and out of ball cap. So hopefully that makes sense. We're going to do some drills to get used to it. First one we're going to do, we're going to fly to the midfield. We're going to hover there for a second. We're going to slowly tap air roll till we're either facing left or right. And then we're going to fly to that side five times each side. So five times to the left, five times to the right. Then we're going to fly to the midfield. Hover there, we're going to slowly tap air roll until we're facing the way we just came and then we're going to fly back into the net.
The next one, we're going to start in the corner. We're going to fly to the mid boost. Then we're going to turn in field, fly to the center, turn to the net of the side we just came from and fly back to net. We're going to perform that five times on each corner. And then the next one is the same thing, but this time, once we get to the middle, we're actually going to turn to the opposite corner from where we started five times per side. Okay, great. Now, by practicing this, each time you get on, you will start feeling more comfortable with flying. So now we're going to look at the expert basic level. Once you feel super confident in these core skills, we need to learn to fly backwards. The reason we might do this is because... We may get bumped, we may turn, the angle may throw us off, the ball might fly over our head as we're going up in the air. So we need to be able to fly backwards and it gives us more to develop on top of. So it's difficult because basically all of the controls are backwards. So up is down, down is up, left is right, right is left. And another little tip here, before we were turning ball cam on and off, for this training, don't turn ball cam on and off, just leave it off so that we see the back of the car. So for these, we've got some more drills. And all I want you to do is jump, start to fly, and then turn your car with your air roll so you're facing backwards. From there, literally super simple, fly from one goal to the other goal five times. From the one corner to the other corner five times, each on the left and the right side, so ten times in total. Fly from your left post to the opposite post and from the right post to the opposite post. Three times each for those. But this time is where we're going to start getting a bit tricky. We're going to face forward, fly to the middle. Then we're going to turn face backwards. And then we're going to fly to the opposite goal. And now we're going to jump in the air, go to the middle, face backwards. And then we're going to lean to try and get to the left corner and then the right corner. Five times each. Practice these drills until you're comfortable with it. Hopefully this will help your muscle memory of aerial play and we can add to that later on but i do have a training pack to help cement what we've learned today as always the pack code is in the top corner we're just going to rifle through this you're going to notice the positioning is kind of familiar it's kind of usual to what we've just been doing all we're going to do on the first ones is just get up and steer into the ball so now we've got a bit of accuracy involved. We've got to try and hit the balls. And on these, just like before, we're going to go to the middle. And then once we're in the middle, we're going to then choose our direction, which is towards the ball, obviously. And we're going to try and hit the balls. And this will force you to stay at a, a decent height. There we go. We're just going to go for a basic area right there. Now this one, we're going to go to the middle. And we're going to turn in field. And then we're going to strike the ball just like we've been doing in training. Same again on the opposite side. Little turn and try and get a good chunk of the ball if you can. Try and smack the middle. Smack it hard. Then it knows, boss. Turn into the middle. And this time, just like before, we're going to turn into middle and go towards the net. Now, top tip here. Don't score this like I do um, because you won't actually get 100% in the training pack. <laughs> I forgot it was defensive. So do not score it. Instead, do it like this one. Go into the middle. Turn towards the net. And this time, just smack it off the backboard so it doesn't count as a goal. Same again here, just like before, we're going to go into the middle. Then we're going to turn, use our air rolls, lean forward, and then we're going to go for the ball. And what you can do here is when you're on the last portion, is you can just go into ball cam because that's exactly where you're aiming. And usually when you're doing aerials in game, you want to have ball cam on. It's only usually if you're going to go for an aerial from the ground, like an air dribble from the ground, that you'd actually take ball cam off. Other than that, most of the time you'd be in ball cam. And that end aerial there, high aerial, so you've got to fly up to it. Just a real basic pack here to build basic skills, guys. This is what we need, the fundamentals, baby. Hope you've enjoyed that. Good luck. Post it to the Sky Blue Belt chat. And I'll see you next week. Peace.